Hey, it's Emily and today I'm going to be talking about the books that I would love to read in the month of November or my November TBR. Uh, there's a lot that I would want to get to so we'll see we'll see how this goes. My TBR game is back so that's going to be adding uh, a bit of chaos into the mix here which we love. Um, my video plans didn't quite come to fruition in October which is fine. I basically took the first two weeks mostly off and just relaxed and then and try like <laughs> spent the rest of the month trying to just catch up and get back into the routine of things. And so I did post the uh, May June wrap up and the vlog from the end of June where my boyfriend and I were able to take a trip to San Francisco that is actually uploading right now over there at my desk. And so that one is probably going to be posted before this is posted. That's that's the plan, um, but it is at least done. It's uploading. And so hopefully that'll be coming very shortly and it'll already be up and you can check that out on my channel uh, if you are interested in seeing that super old vlog but a fun travel one. Um, and I still would like to catch up a bit on either wrapping up what I've read over the past four months or at least doing some sort of highlights from the last four months. I meant to vlog in October and that did not happen so no vlogs will be coming up <laughs> from what I read in October. Unfortunately it was a really good reading month um, so that's a little sad but we'll, we'll get back into the vlogging game soon hopefully in the month of November but you know hopefully I can catch up on some wrap-ups and then just keep moving forward. Um, so without further ado, let's talk about uh, my reading plans for November. I can start with what I'm currently reading. It is currently the 30th of October and I'm reading The King of Crows by Libba Bray. It has been a tradition the past few years to read a book from the Diviner series uh, right at Halloween towards the end of October and this is the fourth and final book in the series and so it's it's a little sad that it's going to be ending but I've absolutely loved this series and I'm, I'm very excited um, to get into this one. I just started this a bit yesterday so I'm not very far into it. I was hoping to be a bit farther by the time Halloween came around and really kind of be into um, into the thick of the story, um, but this is the fourth book in the series, so it's, it's really picking right back up where we left off and just the vibes are just impeccable for this time of year. So I'm really excited to continue with this one. Um, so that's what I'm currently reading. Let's just jump right into the roles and hopefully what I would love to get to in November we can make work with the roles. So let's just jump into role number one. And roll one is a 12. And that is a fairy loot card. Okay, so roll number one is a fairy loot card. And um, as I have mentioned before, this really, so there's a little prompt, hopefully you can see that on each of these cards. I do have more, but I, I did pick a selection of them because I didn't want to shuffle all of them at once. Um, and hopefully picking a selection of them, I can, I can narrow it down to at least some things that I, I think will be able to work for what I want to get in in November. So just gonna shuffle a bit and I want to go for, whoop, I'm gonna go for this one right here. Oh, and that is historical fiction. Let's see if you can read that there. Uh, and that will, that'll really be great because I've got a couple of historical fictions that are on my list. One of those includes Bronze Drum. Uh, and so this was actually a book of the month selection that I've yet to get to. I do have the audiobook that is soon going to be coming off of hold at my library, so this will be a perfect opportunity uh, to read this. All I know is that it follows two sisters in historic, I, I believe historic China, and involves, I, I think it's inspired by a true story and how these two sisters um, relate to, uh, is it a war in China's history? I'm not quite sure, but it sounded interesting and uh, A Tale of Two Sisters in War is kind of the, the pitch right here. Um, so that should, be, that should be interesting and I would love to get caught up on Book of the Months and I think that is actually 
the only book of the month that I've received so far that I have not yet read. And so that'll be, that'll be good to catch up on the book of the month. So let's jump into roll number two. And roll two. And that is an 11. And that is a TBR deck card. Okay, TBR deck card. And for those of you who don't recall or haven't seen this before, I do have a deck of, of Jesse's TBR uh, cards. And, and so these are a great collection of cards that they use um, on their TBRs frequently. And so I, I thought it'd be fun to get a deck. And my rule here is um, I, I'll go ahead and shuffle uh, not a great shuffle, but I'll go ahead and shuffle and pick one. And if it's not something that I can fulfill with my physical TBR, I will go ahead and let myself pick another one uh, because, yeah, I'm trying to dwindle it down a bit. Um, so just give that a very rough shuffle. Okay, and then I want to pick let's do this one all right hopefully hopefully you can see that this is oh a book centering black lives matter um hmm i don't think i have any books on my physical tbr that specifically center black lives matter so we're going to we're going to pick again um and this time, let's pick this one. Let's see what this one says. Here is the card. I know it's probably not focusing very well, but this is career day. Dream job as a child. Read a book with a main character in that profession. Ooh, okay, let's see. See if I have anything. Um, okay, one thing, it, it's a tad bit of a stretch, but one thing I can do is put um, the other black girl. Um, I'm gonna try to avoid the glare. This is a book I got from a library book sale, and so it still has the, the library cover on it. Um, and this one follows a woman who's in kind of publishing, and I didn't necessarily think about this too much as a young kid, but a little bit later when I started to get more into reading in books, it was something that I did I did think about. That is something I thought about. So I, I think it'll be close enough. Uh, and this one follows a, a woman who works in publishing. She's the only black woman who works at her company, or at least kind of in the, the part of the office that she's in. Uh, and another black woman is interviewed and joins the team. And I'm not sure what else happens after that, but I, I've heard some really great things. So I'm eager to give this one a go. Um, so we'll put that one on for the second roll. On to the third roll. And roll three. And that is a 20. And another TBR deck card. Okay, awesome. Another deck of TBR card. And I just kind of sort of shuffled them, so I'm not going to shuffle them again. Um, let's go for... Let's go for this one and see... See if any of that can be visible. So this one says, Mentally and or physically disabled protagonist. Um... I'm not sure that I have anything on my TBR that jumps out at me as a, something that would apply there. Um, let's pick another one. So we are going to pick again and let's see what this one is okay magical realism by a latinx or hispanic author um 
I don't think I have any magical realism at all on my TBR at the moment, at least on my physical TBR. So we're gonna pick again. There, there are plenty that I would love to read that would fit that category, but I don't have them physically tied. Okay, let's pick this one. And it says, from the library, find a book you've never read. Okay, um, so technically I'm not checking it out from the library, but I do have a couple of books that I got at that same library book sale where I got the other black woman. I did get a couple more there. So I did get The Hunting Wives by Meg Cobb, and this is, I think, suburban, suburban, like, rich people murder vibes. So I'm very intrigued by this one. I also got um, The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. Um, so I'll go ahead and put The Hunting Wives on as, as a pick for this. So, like, no, I didn't check it out directly from the library, but I did get it from the library book sale and it like benefited the library by purchasing this book. Um, so we're going to go with that because again, I would like to get my own physical TBR down. So we're stretching this a bit, um, but got to do what you got to do, right? So let's go for that one and let's get into the fourth rule. And rule four. And we've got a 16, although I think it's a little hard to tell. And free choice or mood read. And the fourth and final rule was a mood read, which is always lovely. So I'll go ahead and put Babel by RF Kuang. This is the gorgeous fairy loot edition. Uh, I meant to read this in October, but I also wanted to be vlogging my experience reading this. Just thought it would be fun. And so, and since I wasn't vlogging in October and I was also just pulled by so many, so many books in October anyway, I, I didn't mind uh, holding off just a little bit to read this in November. So we'll go ahead and put this one on. This is a dark academia that follows our main character Robin who is brought from his home and uh, semi-adopted by someone who brings him over to uh, Oxford and the, the translation uh, school there basically, um, the Royal Institute of Translation. And as he gets older, he's realizing that the translation service that he is studying with and working with uh, is definitely benefiting the empire and colonial activities of Britain. And that's negatively affecting places like the place where he's from. And so he's trying to figure out what that means for him and what he should do. And I believe leads a student revolt. Uh, I'm just a couple of chapters in before I paused. So I, I would love to jump back into this one and I'll put that as my free choice. Um, so other books that I would love to get to, I didn't get to City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare in October, even though this was the October read for the Bookstar read along for this series, I'll link information down below. So I need to catch up. Uh, so I would like to get to this one. I actually have the audiobook checked out. So I hope this should be the next book I actually read after the last book in the Diviner series. So should be getting to that. I mentioned The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna as one that I picked up at that library book sale and would love to get to. I also just have a few fairy loots to catch up on. I'm actually being pretty good about catching up on Book of the Months and fairy loots, um, but I do have Spells for Forgetting by Adrienne Young. So this one follows a woman who I think the person that she was dating was accused of killing her brother. and. Then he, the person accused, disappears from town, and I think it's sometime later he comes back. Uh, weird things are happening. I, I don't know. Should be a, a nice, fun, atmospheric, small town uh, murder vibes. Um, and I, I forgot to mention this one is a historical fiction that I believe centers a family uh, 
in the 1920s and 30s. Are they in Texas or coming from Texas to somewhere? Um, I'll, I'll not quite sure where this one is set, but set in the 1920s, 30s, I think talks about the Dust Bowl. And I also would love to get to the other fairies I just got are One Dark Window. And I'm not really sure what this one follows. Um, there's also Princess of Souls by Alexandria Christo, uh, or Alexandra Christo. Um, again, I'm also not sure what this one is about yet. I, I barely looked at them and the, what they were about. Um, the vibes seem to kind of fit this time of year, and so yeah, definitely excited to read both of these. I'm quite excited about this TBR, and we'll see we'll see how much I can get to. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're going to be reading in the month of November. And yeah, be sure to subscribe for more bookish content. I will link my Twitter and Instagram down below. I'm not really very active on Twitter, haven't been in a long time, but I'm trying to be more active on Instagram. Uh, I'll also leave more information about how you can support the Black Lives Matter movement, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.